All right, y'all. I am sure the lighting in here is not that great, but that's what happens when you get on the road, you know, to go yard selling before seven o'clock in the morning. Um, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't been here before, welcome to the channel. My name is Timmy. The channel is Flipping for Funds. My wife and I go to yard sales, thrift sales, uh, Salvation Armies, Goodwills, Walmarts, Ollies, pretty much anywhere you can think of to buy items at a low price and then turn around and sell them on uh, eBay, Mercari, and Amazon. And we have recently stopped Poshmark, and that's a whole other video. So, um, like I said, welcome. It is a September Saturday morning. It is about quarter till seven, and I am heading to some yard sales. And I know there's at least two churches I'm going to be going to, and there is a yard sale I'm going to. And that was all I saw in this town that I'm going to um, for today. But we will see. We may check Facebook Marketplace later and find some more sales. But uh, hopefully we will find something because we're going to travel about 30 miles one way. So that's a 60 mile round trip. Um, car gets about 28 miles to the gallon. So I mean, we're going to use just over two gallons of gas. Um, and so we're going to say it's going to cost us about $7 today to go yard selling. So hopefully I can make at least $7 profit today, y'all. But all right, let's go check out some yard sales, see what we can find. All right, y'all. First sale of the day. Got my bag ready, and hopefully I need it. Thank you, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am. Where do I know you from? Oh, God's <laughs> How you doing? Okay, how about you? <laughs> good, good. Are you gonna buy some of them pots and pans? No, I don't this think so. This is my nephew, Miss <laughs> Debbie. This is not our church, but uh, <laughs> this is my nephew from Bear Grass. Oh, Hi. Bear Grass. How you Came doing? From, to the big city today. Yeah, the big huh? city. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna head over to the big city of Blunt's Creek over there in a little oh, while yeah. too. Yeah. Go to the uh, Smyrna Church over there. Oh yeah, they have yeah. one too. Yeah. yeah. They're having their last one of the year. Oh, sorry. Don't let me run over. I appreciate it if you didn't. <laughs> Fifty cents. Two, you've got two, two on the back of it. Fifty cents, and that would be um, 
Thank you. 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 Thank you.
like, no, nah, this is my first time. We, we got them all spread okay. out and all, right. uh, all that good stuff. And, uh, we'll, all right. We'll, we're good. We yeah, I ball. saw the ad said this is going to be the old's last sale of this year. I said, well, I better go back over there and check it out. All right. <laughs> Morning. <laughs> I know he was just telling me out there right then. <laughs> we'll see what we can find today. I can smell it. It smells good in here. <laughs> good God. A cart? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got a bag under here, but I'm hoping I'm hoping not to pick up a whole bunch of big stuff. I know you do. <laughs> I'll look through them, then I'll decide. I'll, I'll come get a bag if I need it. Easy. Oh. Hmm. I don't know. If, I don't know if I want to put it on the cart. Uh, yeah. Cause I definitely don't want to carry that thing around. No. That thing weighs like 15 pounds.
tout. Bag's already heavy enough. I don't, I don't want to tote this thing around. Excuse me. Y'all more serious than I am. Y'all got carts. Y'all plan on taking a load out of here. but it's an electronic metronome. You still break it and break goodies out of there. Yeah. I 
filled up a bag last time I was here. Okay, then I got these three and those two. I'm not going to argue with y'all. Right, for sure. <laughs> there you go. Well, make sure you get you some sweet food there. Oh, no. Thanks, I'm going to pass some sweet food. I didn't have breakfast yet. <laughs> no, I got it. Thank y'all. Well, y'all, I guess when I start looking things up later, I'll find out what those video games and stuff are worth. I have no idea, but at a quarter each, I'm going to pick them up because some could be worth $5, some could be worth $50. You never know with some of that, some of that older stuff. But um, uh, that, what was it, the Panasonic Isophone? Um, that thing... I don't know if it works i'm thinking maybe twenty dollars plus shipping even if it's fifteen dollars plus shipping i'm fine with that and that little uh, music box mirror that i picked up i saw that one had sold for about twenty dollars so i picked it up i knew things were going to be cheap in there because the last time i was here things were very cheap and um they also were trying to clear this stuff out uh before winter so they are just they're almost giving stuff away at this at this uh rummage sale but let's see what else did i pick up in there um that dirt devil vacuum um if i can find a belt for it um i can probably get about 30 bucks for it maybe maybe 25 plus shipping maybe 30 dollars shipped um, and I can sell it for parts if I want to. I can hold on to it. Maybe I find another one one day that, you know, has a belt, but the brush is messed up or something. Um, and there's a little direct TV box in there. It's probably 15 or $20, but I picked up some good stuff in there, y'all. I don't think I went wrong there, but y'all, it's raining out. So I am going to head on to the house, but first I have to drop off a package at Advanced Auto Parts. Yeah, that's right, Advanced Auto Parts. <laughs> it's a UPS package and today is Saturday, so I'm gonna go ahead and get it out. Um, that was something that, that sold on my car yesterday. So there you go, y'all, that's my Saturday. It is 9.04, so in two hours, I don't know how much stuff I picked up, but I mean, I feel like a bag and a half and I got a camp stove and some other stuff. I think it's gonna be a profitable day. All right, y'all. This is not the best setup I've ever had. <laughs> but I'm trying to use the same camera without but without using my little uh, tripod. Um, but I want to talk about some of these games that I picked up at that, uh, that church rummage sale. And I kind of want to give y'all an idea of what I got at that rummage sale. I'm not even gonna go through any of the other stuff I got at the other rummage sale or the yard sale. Um, I picked up, uh, it was right at 40 items. So we're just gonna round it up to 50 cent, y'all. Um, I got those things home. The metronome I picked up, it worked great. Was the Noah Weather uh, radio thing I picked up, it works great. Um, the Direct TV box I picked up, it works. Um, the alarm clock I picked up, that West Clocks alarm clock, it works. That I picked up, I don't know if y'all saw it, but I picked up a Nintendo DS Lite uh, charger or power supply, whatever you want to call it. Um, that thing works and it's probably worth, I don't know, eight or ten dollars um the little the little music box mirror shaped like hearts that thing works great but what i really want to go over with y'all is what kind of return i'm gonna get for picking up those video games there were ps2 games ps3 games and uh pc games in there and i started going through them and um one of them was this uh original playstation game it is um, Namco Museum. It's got Pole Position, um, Pac-Man, Galaga, Toy Pop Rally. It's got a whole bunch of stuff in there, um, and it is in great shape. And it looks like it's going to sell for somewhere in the neighborhood of 10 bucks, 10 maybe even $12 some people have gotten for it. 
Uh, next up, I, first I started looking through here and I had a StarCraft game. Um, yo, I was I wasn't really worried about what these things were worth when I was when I was in there getting them I just knew that some of these uh, PC games were worth a little something So I pulled this one out as I was going through stuff. It's StarCraft and it is from I don't even know what year that's from 1998 so I pulled it out and I started looking at comps on it and I saw that another game was sold with it and uh, the other game is the expansion pack for this game and this one looked like you might get $10 to the moon who knows I mean it, it, it was all over the place but then I kept looking through my stack and I had this it's the Starcraft expansion pack now I'm not going to get rich off of these two right here by any means but it looks like um, some people have sold this just the expansion pack for $25 um, but some people have sold them together for $30 some people have sold them together for $15 so, like I said I mean a, like a dollar in those two so I will take it um, let's see this game right here Metal Gear another uh, PC game it looks like um, if you had a brand new one, you could get about $28 for it. Um, this one being pre-owned, I'm going to have to clean the case up because a lot of these cases are in kind of just a just dirty shape. They got like a film on them. But um, about $13. Uh, so, it, you know, even if I send out a best offer on it, I'm still going to make some money on that thing. All right, next up. Um... Well, it's back here. Hold on. There, there's an issue with this game, though. It is um, Jane's Combat S uh, Simulations. It's the Naval Warfare Collection. It's supposed to be a three-disc set, but there's only two games in here. So the middle game is missing. And I, I've looked through all the games I picked up, and... I don't see it anywhere so I don't know what this is worth because it's not complete um, and I saw where some of these things um, had sold for up to $50 and some of them 15 or $16 maybe I can sell this without that middle game maybe somebody has um, you know this and you know the first game or the last games messed up I don't know but I mean, I'm, I'm thinking maybe 10 or 12 bucks, something like that. All right, next up, this is a good one, y'all. This is an original PlayStation game also, and it is in excellent condition. The case is in ex excellent condition. It's not scratched up or anything. It is uh, Crash Team Race Racing. It's a Crash uh, Bandicoot game. And this one here, um, can sell for eighteen dollars, uh, twenty five dollars, um, twelve dollars. I, I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna price it. I'm probably gonna price it high at about twenty. But if I get fifteen for it, I'll be plenty happy for that. Now this one right here, I hadn't heard this game, so it kind of surprised me. But it's another original PlayStation game, and it is Rayman. Or Raymond I don't know how you say his name but this is also in excellent condition and it looks like it can sell it sells pretty consistently for around $15 ship so that's probably what I'm gonna ask for it now this next one y'all I have no idea it's another PC game and the case needs a really good cleaning but it is Jurassic Park Operation Genesis and uh, it's a uh, 3D park building sim and I mean it's in good condition it looks I mean it looks to be brand new there's no scratches on it or anything um, but I don't know what to ask for I'm gonna see how it cleans up first but there are people that have sold this game up to like $90 um, I see 35, 45, 45 without the title cover on it. Um, 
set somebody sold one for $81 I y'all I don't know if I get $20 I'm happy with it but I'm going to list it high because it's been selling high and we're going to see what happens um, this one here this is another PC game it's plants versus zombies and it is uh, from 2010 and it looks like this game should sell somewhere around 14 to 16 dollars shipped Let's see what is this, one? this is two games in here. It's only supposed to be one, but it is mech warrior 2 and mech warrior 3 and they're both in great condition um, these are uh, one's act uh, Activision game, but I figure I could put them together and, and try to sell them that way. And um, let's see. I'm thinking, looking at the comps, cause one game, you know, I see like just the game for the Mech Warrior 3 sold for almost $9. Um, there's another one where it sold for $11. And the Mech Warrior 2, I really don't know. I mean, it looks like about $9 also. Um, just the game. I see where one sold for $4.95 plus $5.20 shipping. So I'm thinking about 10 bucks. So I'll probably put them together and ask $18, $19 for them, something like that. Now, this one right here was another shocker for me. Um, this is a two disc set and it is Zoo Tycoon the complete collection, two discs. And it looks like it's worth uh, a, anywhere from 20 to $35 for those two little games right there. Score right there, y'all. All right, next up, this one, I don't think it's worth a whole lot because it's just like the cardboard slip and the game. Uh, or the cardboard sleeve, I guess you would call it, is Halo Combat Evolved. And it does still have the product key number left on the back of it. This is from 2003, y'all. used to play this on Xbox uh, 360 all the time. We used to play multiplayer on that. But it looks like somewhere in the neighborhood of 12 to $15, I'm thinking. If I had the original uh, box and all that came in, I might could squeeze 25, maybe even $30 out of it, but I'm going to ask like 15 for it. <clears throat> Next up, here's a here's another decent one. This is a PS3 game, and um, it's got a, it looks like a GameStop uh, tag on it, pre-owned. It sold for um, for $24.99, um, and it's a Konami game. It's Birds of Steel. And this game with the case looks like it sells for somewhere in the neighborhood of $17 to maybe $20. Uh, the last game I have, now this isn't all of them I picked up. There are some others sitting up there behind me, but those really aren't worth anything. I got to decide what I'm going to do with those. I made a lot, a couple of them up or something. But this game here is another PC game. It is a Real War Air Land Sea Rogue states this game looks like just the disc itself sells regularly for about 14 to 15 dollars um and somewhere in the neighborhood of between 17 and 24 dollars like it sits right here um so y'all i don't know how much that all adds up to right there but i know good and well it's over a hundred dollars profit um and i've still got the i've still got the other stuff down there that i told y'all about that i'm getting ready to list um, I'm gonna make plenty of profit off of that that sale. All right, thank y'all for being here.